Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, today I want to make a recording about uh, Google Chrome App Launcher. Um, pretty much what this is, is it's a type of hub that you can install on your computer for all of the Google Chrome, Google apps, anything related to Google. If Nowadays, I guess everybody, almost everybody uses Google. If you don't use Google, um, I don't know what to say, but... <laughs> um, if all for whatever you're using, maybe it's Google News, um, maybe it's Google Maps, Google. Uh, I don't know. There's so much, so much things of Google that you can use. So, uh, what this is 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 it's a hub you can install on your computer, and from from your computer directly without using a browser, you can just load up Google News or um, Google Maps. Uh, Gmail, all of these things you could load up directly from your desktop. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it and then pretty much how to use it, what it, what it is. So let's get started. First off, you want to, we can just go on Google and we'll search uh, Chrome App Launcher. And this is the link. I'll put the link in the description as well so you guys can click on that and go here directly. But this is the link chrome.google.com slash web store slash launcher. Uh, I'm surprised that not many people know about it because it is it's a really good feature to have. So uh, once you come here then it's asking you to sign up to Chrome and uh, from the sign up screen here just click sign in and get the launcher. Click on that and then from here you have to enter your Gmail or of course you'll have to have a Google account whatever it is you'll enter your email here for that so for me it's going to be uh, tech 33 void that's my Google email that I made in my previous account a previous video you guys would have seen the video of how to make a Gmail account anyways so that is the same email I'm using right now tech 33 void and then the password is I would say it on the mic anyway. Uh, yeah, so then click sign in. And then right after that, as soon as you sign in, you'll see that the launcher icon just appeared right now. Uh, before this, it was not here. So now if I just close Chrome, close Chrome over here, and then let me open a new browser here. So I have something. And then from here, I could just you'll see by default there's a few Google programs here um, let's say if I wanted to go to the Google Store click here it'll take me to the Google Store what if, if I want to go to YouTube click here it'll open up YouTube on the browser some some of these things are shortcuts these ones with the small arrows they mean that they're shortcuts so what that means is they'll open Chrome your, it'll open up your Google Chrome browser and then it'll um, it'll go to that whatever it is if it's Google News it'll go to Google News search or go search um, now a few other if you want to look there's so many there's tons and tons of apps that you can have so for instance if I want to look for uh, maps Google Maps you'll see that here Google Maps comes up and I can just hit add to Chrome add Google Maps yes we'll click add and then it downloads it and now Google Maps appears as well. So I have Google Maps here. How about if I want news? You'll see here there's Google News. You can answer, uh, add other extensions too if you want, but I want Google News. You can hit Add to Chrome, Add. Now I have Google News. Um, but both of these things are shortcuts as well. You'll see that they're shortcuts. It opens up in the browser. What if uh, there's a few extensions? Let's see about ang you know Angry Birds. Everybody knows Angry Birds. So you click Angry Birds add chrome add and angry birds opens up as well so that will open up in a browser there is a few apps that don't open up on browsers it's uh it's a program in itself so one would be plex like i'm just giving this as an example oh okay. cut that out because it's <laughs> too loud uh for instance uh, plex is a program i use it's a media server so if I want Plex, I'll download Plex, add, 
and notice that flex doesn't have a small arrow right here where uh, like most of the other ones they'll open up on the browser if I click flex it'll open up this is a, its own window it's the flex window itself so it opens up by itself so yeah that's pretty much what this program is that's what Google Chrome App Launcher is and I think everybody should have it um, it makes things so much easier like rather than opening up your browser and going into the place you want you can just click here and click on the uh, whichever one you want you can add your own as well later on if you want to sign out and sign in as a different user you can do that as well um, and you can just play around with it get get all the things you want uh, Picasa uh, you see Picasa is there there's like a, a million and one things here so just you add all of the things that you need for yourself and it'll all just be there all in one cool little hub so uh, thank you guys for watching I hope this kind of uh, enlightened you guys I hope this video helped you guys out uh, please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe thank you and take care guys